What is up beach bums? Today I'm at the Gulf State Park Pier, which I've spent maybe this much time fishing this pier, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But we are looking for a couple of Spanish, and we are in our series where I'm taking fresh fish to a restaurant locally to have them prepare it for us. Still don't know what restaurant we're going to go to yet, but uh, got to get some fish first, and we're looking for those Spanish mackerel. I've got some jigs I'm going to be throwing today. I've actually got some from a subscriber, Steve Whittle. He sent me some, which actually look pretty good for uh, what these fish are feeding on right now, which are small LY, so we're going to try to imitate that as, as close as possible. Let's see if we can get some fish. So this is one of Steve's lures he sent to me. Uh, it's a pretty small profile. Looks good to me. Looks like uh, it could imitate an LY pretty well, so we'll see if we can get something interested in it. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what's your thank you, thank you. What's your name? John Campbell. John, you, you fishing today? I'm down here. I'm just seeing, oh, okay. Awesome. Well, yeah, man, I appreciate you watching. And some first fish, little Jack. <laughs> These guys have been all over the place. They're on the beaches, up here. And he's hooked in the mouth and he's still bleeding like crazy. See you, buddy. Oh, there's something. Got something. Ah. Oh. Got a pin? What the crap? Pinfish just ate that? I've got Mamet here. He's originally from Turkey, right? But yes, you live in Minnesota yes, right. now. Yeah. And he's down here fishing the pier. He ran into me. He's a subscriber, but he's also going to help me out with some LYs to hopefully hook some of these Spanish. Thanks, bud. Good luck. We got the juice now. This is the, the live bait. I'm getting hooked up. Nice folks at the pier. We're going to let it sit out here and see if we can get us a Spaniard. Oh, there's some rays. I don't know if you can see them in the GoPro or not, but they're right there. Seen a few sharks. All kinds of stuff. Just hooked up on something. Oh, that's a Spanish. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't cut me off. Just got a uh, 17 pound fluorocarbon. That's a good Spanish. All right, this is an issue at the pier. I guess I'm gonna have to hand line this guy up. Ugh. Come on. Eh. This is a lack of knowing what to do. All right, here we go. Spanish on deck. We got dinner. Heck yes. It's a nice one. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Mamet, thank you. You, you delivered. <laughs> Well, our buddy Mamet delivered. He gave us a live bait, and uh, within minutes, we we have a Spanish. So this will probably be enough. This will get us a couple of fillets, but may fish a little bit longer just to see what else we can get into. But beautiful fish. Can't wait to eat it. All right. We'll see if we can get Uno Mas. At least one more. If we can't, that's okay. I I think we've got enough, but I'd just like to make sure. Well, I thought for a second I had a spadish, but I believe it's a ladyfish. I think a lady came up and ate it. Let's see. Can't tell. Yeah, that's a ladyfish. Oh, don't get my other line. There you go. Oh. Well, that pulled out. That worked. Didn't want to deal with that. Oh, oh, fish and hole, dang, something hit it. I'm gonna guess we got some ladyfish around. Yep, that's another lady. On the LY, that sucks. These are some stout ladyfish there, dang. Probably about to get hammered by a shark. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Dang. This guy's tugging. Oh, he's crossing lines. He's foul hooked, that's why. No, it's, it's a ladyfish. He crossed us up. Are we still around that line? Oh, there you go. Well, ladyfish showed up, dang. We gotta show my buddy catching a fish here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it looks like a good fish. Oh gosh. If that's a, is that a, oh, it might be a remora. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Game. yeah. For a second I thought it was going to be a Spanish. I was like, that's a big Spanish. They can't fight though. Yeah, they're good for a fight. That's for sure. Yeah, just a minute ago, I was tying hook, just cut the hook off. Oh, oh something, got, something cut you off? Yep. Okay. I well. just heard. <laughs> <laughs> it. Here, am I on your way? You flipping. There we go. Little stank cobia right there. Oh, another fish. Maybe it's a Spanish. Feeling kind of Spanishy. If it is, it's a big one. Uh, yep, another Spanish. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh. Did something just try to eat him? <laughs> he just jumped. All right, come here, buddy. I just got a 2,500 reel. Let's see if I can flip him. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yes. Victory! <laughs> ah! Nope, 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 nope. Don't leave me. Yep. <laughs> they, they know where the water is. Spanish number two, we've got dinner. So we'll probably wrap it up from here. But uh, man, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time out here on the pier today. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Same here. I made it happy. You, you. You, you made it happen. I, drop a like from a man. He uh, he made this video possible today. I'm glad it all worked out, so I'm very happy with it. So. That's awesome, man. Spanish mackerel is another fish that's fairly easy to clean. Uh, just make a cut right there behind that pectoral fin and just ride this backbone down. They're really simple. This fillet just is going to come right off. Really easy to cut through. You don't even have to have a super sharp knife to do it. I did bleed this fish, so not a lot of blood. I, I do recommend bleeding your Spanish mackerel. Um, they've got uh, just this little set of rib bones that you're gonna have in there after you lay it like that. Just gonna remove the skin after that. They're a little bit like pompano in that the skin's not real easy, like if you, uh, and I, I can feel it already with my finger. I left a piece of skin on there. You can see like, it's kind of pumping over the same way. They can be a little tricky. Some pin bones right there in that bloodline. So I'm just gonna cut those out. Yeah, I feel that, feel that right there. So they do have a section of pin bones, looks like. So we've got those out. There we go. Nice boneless, skinless filet. Pretty meat. And we have decided on Wolf Bay Lodge for this outing. Many of you recommended it, and uh, word on the street is it comes with hush puppies. Don't know if that's true or not, but yeah. one of the primary reasons we wanted to come check it out because we do dig some hush puppies. Look how cute you are tonight. You got all dressed up, ready for dinner. Yep. So pretty. Give a thumbs up. Thumbs up? <laughs> that, that's how she does thumbs up. It, it's, it's the pointer. <laughs> Not everywhere does this, but some places do require you to sign like a release so that uh, of course you can't sue them if there's something wrong with your fish, you choke on a bone, <laughs> since they didn't provide it. 
they're covering their bases. Um, and here, a lot of you asked about the pricing of the last place we went, which was Cosmos, which was $18 per person. Uh, here, it's $14 per person. Courtney wanted the fried this time, so she's going fried, and we're gonna share that with Annalise. That's right, we're gonna get the fried, right? Tell them, we're gonna get fried. Yeah. Let, it, fried let them know. Fish. What, what tell, are you getting? Tell daddy we're gonna get fried fish. Fried fish. And I'm getting mine blackened. They do come with hush puppies. The sides here are fries, coleslaw, coleslaw and hush puppies. No substitutions. Different so far than Cosmos where you can pick any two sides that they have. Wolf Bay, I think, has three locations. Uh, they've got one in Perdido, Orange Beach, and then we are actually at the Foley location because that's the closest to our house. Uh, which they don't get as many of these requests here as they do, of course, in Perdido and Orange Beach because that's right there where they're actually catching a lot of fish. Disclaimer on the uh, Spanish mackerel. You may have, if you watch a lot of my videos, you may have heard me say, Spanish mackerel is definitely not my most favorite fish. Um, I, I, it's good fresh, which this fish was caught like two, three hours ago, if that. Like, it's really fresh, so it should be good, but it's definitely not top of my list for favorite fish to eat. Mm. Well, oh, man, they, they hooked well, us up. Well, they might be hot. Well, yeah, hang Watch tight, out. hang tight. Definitely stoked about the hush puppies. That's money right there. Well, here's the blackened. That's what I got right here. Mm, I'm Looking gonna give good. you some, I promise. Smells good. Fried. Here, let's tuck this in, okay? All right, first oh, bite going down, Spanish mackerel. Fried. Three, two, one. It's really good. It's still really warm. It's really flaky. Hold on, wait, I wanna get a bigger bite. Ooh, it's really good. Spanish mackerel? Yeah, okay? it is. Good? Yeah, I like it. All right, Courtney says it tastes like chicken. <laughs> I'm going to try, I'm going to get a bite of the fried. That sounds so cliche. Yeah. Doesn't everybody say that about fried? Yeah, fries? that is not a very good description. <laughs> I'm going to smell it. it. Smells delicious. Take a look. Nice and flaky. Again, Spanish mackerel is not usually one of my favorite fish. <laughs> But it's super fresh. Mm -hmm. Very good, super mild, very good fish. I, I really have no complaints. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, the, okay, I've had Spanish mackerel, and I think it sat in the fridge for a few days. The very first time I had it, it kind of turned me off of it. But as long as you eat it fresh, that's delicious. I mean, that's really good. Now we're gonna try the blackened. I'm gonna get a good bite here. Show you that. Looks pretty, pretty delish. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome, so good. Wow. And it's not, you know, I expected it to be pretty spicy, but it's not really spicy at all. It's just really good. That'd be super good on a sandwich. Yeah. yeah, that'd be money on a sandwich. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Spanish mackerel. Delicious fish. Here you go. Try the blackened. It's not spicy like at all. Okay. Yeah, not spicy. Well, what's your favorite? Uh, fried. Here's you go. You all take right, a gonna, bite. We're gonna try to get her to eat. Oh, there you go. Mm. Good. What do you think? Is it good? Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. All yeah. right. <laughs> so it's this is how they did the sides. They they just brought them out. It's kind of family style. Yeah, kind of family style, which is kind of cool. Coleslaw, hush puppies, fries. Have yep. you tried a hush puppy yet? Yes, they're good. They are good? Oh, yeah. Take a bite. They're good. They're like sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That's just what I wanted. They're sweet. Sweet hush puppies. All right, I'm gonna try one of these bad boys. Whoa, oh. That is money hush puppy right there. This is worth it for the hush puppies. Wow. Courtney's gonna do the coleslaw for us because I don't eat coleslaw. It's good, yeah. I 
some of them, I wouldn't say it's like anything special, but it's definitely good coleslaw. Like good classic coleslaw flavor. Coleslaw flavor. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> well, that was delicious. Those hush puppies, my goodness. I could have eaten that whole basket. Courtney just about did eat the whole basket of hush puppies. They were so good. And Elise ate them all. Yeah. She, she really dug them with ketchup. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of gross. We'll get back to the house. We will talk about it and what we've learned so far. That was very good. Enjoyed it a lot. Don't know still. I, I, I had a lot of recommendations on the last video. Thank you so much for all of your input. Uh, really helpful. I'm going to come up with some way of, of ranking or putting some kind of uh, something on some kind of number or something on these restaurants but maybe at the end maybe after we've done a bunch of them or, or something because it's obviously we're just going head to head at this point since we've only done two so um, we'll, we'll talk about it we'll do like a recap after after we've done a certain amount of these restaurants to kind of get a better idea many of you asked about uh, filming in the kitchen which I did ask permission to do that this time uh, the manager checked with the kitchen manager and they were trying to get in touch with the owner who was evidently out of town and out of touch. Anyway, I uh, didn't get approval this time from them, but I will ask and I'll try to call ahead in, in future references to try to get that approval and hopefully be able to film in a kitchen to show them preparing the food because that was something that you guys had asked for. And I think it's a cool thing to see. So, uh, Any other ideas, comment below. Let me know. Uh, enjoyed the pier fishing. Uh, that was definitely different from what I normally do. Uh, these were actually the very first fish that I've ever caught and eaten off of the pier. I have caught a few, you know, tiny fish and not much to write home about off the pier just from uh, dabbling in it up, up to this point. But I had a lot of fun today. It was cool catching those Spanish and uh, taking them home and eating, you know, being able to eat them. So that was neat. Might try to do some more pier fishing as I maybe get more comfortable with it and learn uh, kind of the the way to do things, which I uh, still don't know how. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We'll be doing more videos like this. And as always, you stay bummy.